this is my 250th video on YouTube, so bring on FC United in today's episode of Walks to the Prem. Hello guys, it's me, Bad Jokes, back at you once again with another video. And today guys, we've got episode number 17 of the Kingsland Walks to Prem save here on Football Manager 2020. And it's a big, big game today. We are away against one of the bigger names in the league. I think you've got to say FC United. So that should be a very good game for my 250th video on YouTube. Mental that I've done that many videos. When I started two and a half years ago, I honestly thought I was going to give up after about 10 videos. So to be at 250 is amazing. Thank you to everybody who's watched any of my videos. The channel is growing like mad at the moment. And yeah, before we do get into the meat of the video, I want to try and do this at the start. If you are enjoying the videos, please do pop a like down below. If you're enjoying the series, please do pop a like. It really does help the channel out. I would love this to get to 10 likes. If we can do that, that would be amazing. And if you're new, subscribe as well. Subscribers are growing like mad at the minute. So please do join the Bad Jokes Revolution and subscribe. And so, yep, yeah, guys, with all that plugging out of the way, early doors, let's go and catch you up on what's been happening since you was last with me. We have only played two games in the save. And the first one you saw in the league... We drew that nil-nil, poor draw game, absolutely awful game for first game of the season. Absolutely nothing to say about that. And then after that, we had a very good performance against Geisley. I did post about this on Twitter, so if you've seen that, you already know what happened. But Adam Marriott, the man, the myth, the legend, might be finding his form at last. Because he got himself a hat-trick in this game. Started in the 8th minute, got his second in the 63rd. Mbala got our third in the 71st. And then Marriott at the end got our, got our fourth goal and his third. And so, yeah, that was a beautiful performance. They did almost get it back. I was a little bit nervous, but it never really looked that much in doubt that we was going to win. It was a very nice performance. And hopefully Marriott is going to get to be clinical this season. If he gets 30 goals, I think we get the playoffs. And I think he's very, very capable of getting that 30 goals. So, yeah, it would be amazing if he does. And then after that, we had another boar draw. Both of our home games have been nil-nil games. Not the best uh, entertainment, but look at that for, a, for an attendance. 2,199. How many was it for the first game? 609. I suppose that's more because it's Boston, it's a local derby, I'm guessing so. But also, I am hoping that some of the people who may have come during the summer were have been enticed to come during the actual season. Let's have a look at some of the attendances we had during the summer. 6,000 for Everton, 3,000 for Palace, 5,000 for Villa, 4,000 for Derby, 4,000 again, only 2,000 for Bournemouth. A little bit surprising and yeah so attendances sort of died off towards the end but we got it back a bit for Brighton 4,245 there second time we played them in the summer actually and then 3,000 for Ipswich might have thought we would have got a bit more for Ipswich seeing as it's not a million miles away so a little bit disappointing that but yeah, we got thousands per game. So hopefully some of them will keep coming during the season. And we can maybe look at expanding the stadium in a few years. That is my plan once we do hit like League 2 or something like that. If we get that far, that is. And so yeah, that takes us to today's game. FC United. And they're 20th in the league. How have they been getting on during the save? Uh, where do we find it on this new skin? If you want a link to this skin, I'm going to put it down below. I do think it's a very, very nice skin. It's called um, Hefum skin. So, yeah, either Google it or there'll be a link down below. 
and FC United, have they just come back up? No, they've been in the league the whole time. Yes, they have. I have played them. I was going to play them last season, wasn't I? I was going to bring it to you on camera, but twice I didn't. So you're finally getting to see them. So yeah, Bad Joke's having a blonde moment there. And they come 21st last year. Oh no, the year before that, sorry. They finished 4th last season. So yeah. So yeah, decent team. They look to be on the way up, much like ourselves, I think. So yeah, what about I stop rambling and we get into the video nice and early today, yeah people? Here's the team for today's game. We've got Barnes in goal. He's done well so far this season, not really put a foot wrong. So he starts the game and he will be starting for the next few ones, I should expect. And then Wilson is at left back as a wing back on support. Wiggett and Tavares are both central defenders on defend. Joshua Webb comes in at right back. Raheem Shackelford is out for the next few weeks with a twisted ankle. And then in the midfield, we've got, of course, the star man, David Mbala, as a winger on support. And then in the middle of the park, we've got Diaz Wright and Simmons. Diaz Wright is a deep-lying playmaker. Simmons is a ball-winning midfielder, both of those on support. And then on the right-hand side, we've got somebody who's come into the team and made a real impact. It's Joseph Fitchett. He's an 18-year-old right winger. He only come in because George Brown has missed the last couple of games with an injury. But he's 18 years old. He's only rated by our coaches at two and a half silver stars. But his average rating over, over the last two games is 7.20. He's already assisted a goal. And so he's looking very, very good. Maybe my coaches have got it really wrong about him. And then in the attacking midfield role, we've got Romain Mundell. He's on attacking midfielder as an attacking role. So yeah, he's been doing all right there. He's on a 7.08 for his last five games. So he's looking decent. And then up top, we've of course got the legend Adam Marriott as a poacher on attack. Now, let's go and crack on into the game. All right, guys, we're back. It's game day. Uh, how long has that been for you? About a second? For me, it's been about 40 minutes. My missus just sent me to the shop for some painkillers. And I got there, got myself a burger, got back home, got through the door, went, oh, forgot the painkillers. So I've had to wander back there again. So I've been to the shop and back twice since I told you about the teams for today's game. And so, now let's crack on with the game. We've got FC United. We are the favourites. 5-4, to four, but FC United 7-4. to four, So, they're not overly confident on us. But we have won one game of our three so far and drawn the other two. FC United have won one and lost the other two. So, hopefully, might be able to make it three losses for them so far this year. Alright, now we're in the dressing room. We're going to do all the usual, set the opposition instructions, and the assistant has not set any. So again, he's not worried about them. Let's hope he's right. Uh, we're favourites for a reason, or we owe FC United after what happened last time out. We owe FC United. Most of the team are motivated there. Let's go passionate. I have faith in you. And now, yep, we are all good to go. What prediction do I want to do? Not got one right in ages. 2-1. Two 2-1, one. Two one, I'm saying. To us, obviously. Duh. First highlight of the game is us with the throw in. Wilson throws it into the pitch, but they head it away. But we get it forward again to Mbala. And can he play it to a teammate? Yes, he does. He goes to Mundell, who plays it to Simmons in space. And his long shot. 1-0 to the Kingsland, boys. Very, very good long goal there. From Xavier Simmons, showing why I bought him. He's the one with the 16 uh, long shots. So, yep, that's why we brought him in for moments just like that. Mundell with a pass. Simmons was in space. And he was never, ever going to miss that. Ooh, that's the only highlight of the first half. And so, we go in at half-time. 1-0 up. We've had four shots to their three. 
Two on target to their one. And we have dominated possession like I want us to this season. 58% of the ball compared to their 42. And so, yeah, let's go into the dressing room. Let's tell the boys, I'm happy with your performance so far. Keep it up. And yep, everybody's delighted. And hopefully, we can get a couple more highlights in the second half. And immediately in the second half, we've given the ball away off a throw-in. Rathman with the ball. He goes long, but our man Tavares brings the ball down nicely. Goes to Joshua Webb out wide. He goes over the top, but again they head it away. Goes to our youngster Fitchett. To Tavares. He plays it wide and just to somebody in a red shirt. And are they going to come forward? Somebody's got to start attacking at some point, you would think. Wilson now with a long ball. Marriott's offside. Do not go for that. And he doesn't. Right. Simmons. To right. To Mundell. Back to right. We are keeping the ball very nicely. Now we've got it on the deck. Right. To Mundell. To right again. To Simmons. To Mundell again. And Marriott with the shot. And it's off the post. And it's... Oh, it's just been cleared away. But oh, are we going to have a second attempt? Mundell to the youngster, fits it, and he puts it wide. Ten minutes into the second half, right with the ball, goes to the goal scorer, Simmons. To Wilson, Embala's in space, and he does get it, but he's closed down immediately. Right, again. To Simmons, we are keeping the ball so well, I'm loving this. This is so much better from last season, and Mundell's had a long shot. It's hit the bar, and again, FC United have got it away. But once again, we collect it. Wilson and Wright going for a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Whatever they wanted to do around that. Alright, 66 minutes gone now. We're just making one change in the middle of the park. Estrada is coming on for Diaz Wright. Just to give us a bit more fitness, a bit more freshness. And he's a bit more defensive than what Diaz Wright is. So he might be able to help us see the game out. Now, with 10 minutes left, we're making what is probably going to be our last change of the game. Adam Marriott's been a bit quiet today. He's only on a 6.7 rating, so I'm taking him off for our new signing, Tom Fielding. He's more complete as a poacher, so you never know, might be able to nick us one towards the end of this game. Seven and a half minutes left. FC United with the ball. Are they going to punish us for not being able to close the game off? Not right now, they're not. Mundell plays it forward to Fielding, who goes to Estrada. And can he play it wide? Nope. Mundell, Estrada, you got Embalo in space. Finally, he finds him. And now he goes to Wilson. And what's he going to do? Goes long and Page intercepts. Not what I would have wanted to see there. But now the ball goes out wide to Watson for United. He crosses it, but we get it back. Simmons to Wilson, back to Simmons again. And he goes out wide. Embala nods it on. Estrada, oh, he had a chance there to play it quick. And again, they've got it back. It's all a lot of back and forth right now. Fitch it, the youngster. He's running forward. Can he get the ball into the box? He does. And it's 2-0. And that's another assist for Joseph Fitch it. Two and a half silver stars, you say. He is killing it. What a cross this was. He does what all the experienced players don't do. He crossed it. He actually crossed the ball rather than just lamping it into the side of the net. And Mundell with the tackle goal. And it's 2-0 to the Kingsland boys. We are staying undefeated. And now immediately after that, Simmons with another long ball. Fielding is out wide. He's got nobody with him. He needs some help here. He's crossed it. And they've headed it away again. And Fielding's tried to put it in again. But United have cleared. And now, oh, don't get one back here. I was just feeling confident. Fitch it with the ball. Into Simmons. Estrada. Mundell. Simmons. And Fielding. Oh, I'm not sure if he's on. If he's on, this is awesome. And I think he was. Yes, he was. So it's a corner ball. Come on, can we get a third and wrap this game up very, very nicely? Embala with the corner ball and it goes into the box and they've just got it away from the man who I liked last season. Sonny Carey is on the pitch for FC United. 
very nice to see him, but I'm glad his team are not winning. And Barla with a cross goes to Fitch it. He's taken it down and he's gone for the shot. And what a very nice goal that would have been for the lad. And all, all the highlights now at the end of the game. FC United with a free kick, but that was never, ever challenging anybody. Oh my gosh, all these highlights. Rathman with it. Kerry with it. And oh, it was always going to be him, wasn't it? It was always going to be him. The ex Kingsley man. The guy who I really liked in our first season. Of course he's come back and scored against us. Let's now just go balanced and just hopefully see this out. As indeed we have. 2-1 win. Very nice performance. Never really got nervy until the end of the game. And so the match stats. We had 11 shots to FC United's 8. 4 shots on target to their 3. 61% of the ball. That is beautiful. Especially for an away performance. I'm very, very happy with that. And it's that stat, the possession one, which I think is really going to help us this season. And so let's get into the dressing room. Let's go passionate. Very nice victory. Well done. And everybody's happy. Let's go and have a look. And let's see where we are in the league now. And where we're going to come back for tomorrow's episode. Oh, look at that. I know it's very early days, but we're fourth in the league. One, two, drawn two, lost none, goal difference of three, eight points so far. I've got a feeling this is going to be a very good season, people. Oh, I'm so looking forward to the rest of this season. And so, let's decide where are we going to come back. Where is, where, ooh, where is, that's brilliant English bad jokes. Where are we playing in ten games time? One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, nine, ten. We'll call it ten league games. Uh, Tamworth. I've not played them yet. And I don't think I've played South Shields on camera for you two yet. No, I don't think I have. So, you know what? That's what we'll do for the next video. We'll start getting into two games per episode. Now we're getting into the meat of the season. So, I'll be back with you boys tomorrow for the Tamworth and the South Shields games. And hopefully, we're still going to be unbeaten then. You never know. A boy can hope. And so, guys, if you've enjoyed that video, please pop a massive thumbs up down below. And subscribe to the channel for more FM20 content. Seriously, every like, every subscription really does help the channel out. And every time I get a like or I see a, I see I've, my subscribers have gone up by just one, my heart jumps a little bit and I do a little bit of a funny little dance. So, yeah, please do carry on subscribing. The channel is growing so well at the minute. I'm thinking of setting a subscription target. I'm thinking 550 by the end of the year. It's only another, what, three and a half weeks. But I think we can get to 550 by then. So, yep, guys, please do like and subscribe and follow me on Twitter at Bad Jokes Gaming. And as well as that, check out the Passion for FM Discord, the Passion for FM website and the Facebook page and the Twitter page and all that good stuff. Please do check out the website especially. The website has got some awesome downloads, some awesome uh, resources, some awesome guides. So, yeah, please do check all that good stuff out. And that is everything from me. For today, I shall see you tomorrow for the Tamworth and South Shields doubleheader. See you then. Arrivederci.